two in the morning, rest is getting harder. Hello, welcome Devil Sniper, and yes, Sampdoria is the new career mode. The wild card, I know it's the wild card, but there was so much love for it, along with so many other teams. I mean, Newcastle got lots of love, Aston Villa, Celtic, Dagenham and Redbridge. I mean, there are so many teams that got so much love. But never fear, don't be disappointed. Because this career mode is going to run alongside another career mode. Let's let's take West Ham out of the equation, because West Ham is here until FIFA 14. Simple as that. Job done. I absolutely love and adore my West Ham career mode. It is fantastic. This career mode is going to run alongside another career mode. We're going to do it alternatively. Ten seasons. Five seasons per career mode. Obviously, Sampdoria is starting first. And as you can see, the manager's name is Filippo. Gabs, <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Come on, two legends within the West Ham career mode. They're taking over Sampdoria. And as I say, it's going to run alongside another career mode. I'm not going to reveal that until probably halfway through this season. I might do the intro video, or perhaps we'll leave it right until the end of the season, then we'll introduce the, 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 the second career mode that we're going to run it alongside. But we're going to do this as a Super La Liga. We're not doing the standard Italian Serie A. It's just not going to be as much fun. I really wanted to do a Super La Liga, and we have the opportunity. I just want to say thank you to Dan Fitzpatrick, who took the time to actually PM me a whole list of teams that he uses in the in the Premier League, the Championship, League One. Um, and all I've done is just made a few changes to the divisions, a few different teams I've put in. But I have to say... I don't want to be in the Premier League. I mean, look at the teams in that Premier League. They scare the living crap out of me. And the same with, to be honest with you, every division. Even League 2. You're probably thinking, oh, you put all the crap teams in League 2. No, I put some severely decent teams in League 2. Teams that are, are far and above better than what Sam Doyer are at this current point. So it's a good challenge. We're going to have to absolutely work our nuts off to get out of League 2. It's not going to be easy. Yes, I have dropped it down to world class because A, I'm not used to Sampdoria and B, they haven't got the growth. And the one thing that I've got with my West Ham career is five, well, four seasons of full growth on these players and I've played with them for four seasons. So making a step up to legendary is very, very difficult but I'm very comfortable because I know exactly how my players play. And it's going to take a few seasons before I will know that with Sam Doria. But as soon as I get to know it with Sam Doria, we will bump it up to Legendary. We're not going to piss about. We're going to do it hardcore. Because this career mode is something I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting my teeth into. I can't wait to go through these divisions. There are so many awesome teams. And there is literally a team from every single division, including the rest of the world, from FIFA 13 within these leagues. Which is fantastic. And as you can see, our league is not going to be simple. Aston Villa, full of pace, brilliant. Young Boys, Bologna, Brisbane Raw for the Aussies. Gotta love me Aussies. Kievo, Bruges, FC20, Galatasaray. Why did I put Galatasaray? They're so strong. Hamburg, Helsingborg. The Polish team, I can't pronounce the second name. Can you do it phonetically for me? I would be grateful. Locomotive, Mould, Salzburg, Deportiva, Racing Club, Braga, Sampdoria, Santos, Laguna, Shamrock Rovers, Sounders, Sao Paulo, Valencia and Wolfsburg. Oh my days. That is not a walk in the park. That is simply not a freaking walk in the park. There are some serious sides in there. And it's going to be really, really tough. And that's what I'm looking forward to. The fact it's going to be tough. And it's going to be tougher because our goalkeeper is out. Our main goalkeeper is out for seven weeks. Are you kidding me? Talk about benders over at the start of a career mode. It's ridiculous. And he looks like a decent keeper. He's 25 years old. Rated 77. He looks a decent keeper. You know, diving 79. Re uh, kicking is 84. His reflexes are 81. 72 handling is a little bit poor. And hopefully he will grow. Um, Lorenzo Di, Di Silvestra. Not the greatest looking defender. But, you know, he's he's young. He looks solid. Daniel. Right, let's clear one thing up. My pronunciation of names is going to be absolutely shit and shocking and awful. So it's going to be a learning curve for us all. How bad I can pronounce names. And how well you guys can do it phonetically in the comments below. Or I'm just going to adopt, you know, pet names for him as I normally do. I mean, Jonathan Rossini, he looks pretty damn good. Costa, oh my days. I'm actually looking forward to playing with Costa. I mean, he's got some decent stats. A very solid looking player. And again, look at the ages of the players. It's brilliant. Pedro. Yellows. Oh my God. This guy looks brilliant. I'm really, really, I'm obviously he won't play in goal five a size because he looks awful. But he looks decent. Fernando as well. 
decent young players. We have a lot to work with here. This is what I'm really looking forward to. This is probably the gem. He is the gem within the team. Andre, or is it Poli? Poli. P-O-L-I. Poli. Poli. Looks brilliant. Marcelo. Look at his acceleration and sprint speed. And his stats are actually pretty damn balanced. Now, Maxi Lopez is on loan. Um, and I'm pretty grateful that he's on loan because his acceleration and sprint speed is just ridiculously awful. He's got decent finishing of 78, so I'm hopeful that he might be able to do us um, some justice. I'm hoping anyway. He looks okay. I'm not going to say spectacular, but you know, as a starting point, he looks okay. Hopefully he will give us something to build on. Same with Edda. Hopefully he will give us something to build on. I mean, his, his sprint speed is pretty awful, but his acceleration is good. You know, he's got good agility, so I'm hoping he'll be the little... The little dodger, the little mover, the weaver, he'll be able to get us a goal. So obviously, anyone over 30 years old is pretty much going to be tanked out. We don't want over 30s at all because it doesn't really help us. But as I say, there is such an abundance of young talent in this team. Young players, which is fantastic. And it gives us a great foothold to actually start and um, build. You know, we're not having to worry and panic about bringing a huge amount of players in, which... You know, we are going to obviously bring players in, don't get me wrong, we will bring players in, but we're going to have to be very, very careful in how we choose those players and how we pick those players, because I really, really want to steer clear of the major hitters. You know, I don't want Benzir. As much as I would love him and he'd suit this team, no, I don't want Benzir. I don't want Fisher. I don't want the stereotypical players. We're going to have to work twice as hard together to find players that are very rare, yet epic and that's going to be the important factor they're going to need to be epic because uh, we're going to we're going to suffer a little bit because obviously they haven't got the growth that the West Ham side is that we're, we're so used to watching and seeing week in week out these guys are going to have to grow and I think it's going to be a slow process we're in a very very tough league you know it's not as if I've put the easy teams in there I mean who would have put bloody Galatasaray in there who would have put Valencia in there I mean Aston Villa they're going to pace hump us all day long with Bent and Albongahor up front they're just going to pace hump our defence for love it's going to be a joy for them it's going to be painful for us so it's going to be very very interesting as you can see I'm putting in the formation we've adopted with West Ham United at this moment in time, it may not work. I'll be interested on your thoughts. In episode two, we'll obviously see some gameplay. So I'm going to be very, very interested on your thoughts on the formation, how we can best utilise this team, how we can best progress this team and make them go forward and, and give them the success that they, they damn right deserve. We will also be having a storyline. That will be coming in episodes two, well, episodes three and four, the beginning of the storyline. But we will have a, a methodical storyline. It's not going to be an overly passionate career. But it's going to be methodical. It's going to have a storyline. It's going to be a good laugh. And I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth into this career mode. It's going to be good fun. It's going to be light-hearted. And Jesus Christ, we have got a tough start. We've actually got Villa as our first game. Great. That is going to be awesome. Damn, we have got some severe games. The one thing we will be doing is career mode. Because it's going to be five seasons, we will be simming the odd game here and there. But you know, the majority of the games we will play. A few of the games we will sim just to uh, speed it up a little bit and keep it flowing. Oh, Jesus Christ, we've got some tough games. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to getting the game plays up so you guys can uh, sit down and analyze, uh, give me an analysis of what players we need. Essentially, at this moment in time, my thinking is I want, a, I want an agile beast of a striker. That's all I want, but I don't want a stereotypical one. But you'll see in the next upload, which will be quite shortly. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will catch you later.